Come up on the phone. You want this? Alright, we are loud. So we should show up here now. There we go. Ah. And ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we are loud. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of. Call that now. YouTube's premier off the clock appliance repair show for off the clock appliance repair text. I'm your host. Oh, we gotta turn this down. I'm your host with the most brother B, and you could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me, and we appreciate that. Let's just make sure that um, our numbers work here. Bear with me. Just want to make sure that the people could call us. Mm -hmm. Bear with us, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't been in the studio in a few weeks. Want to make sure that um, all the audios is working. Oh, yeah, perfect. We good. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, call us up. The number is 754-273-8185. Welcome to tonight's calling hour. I'm your host with the most, Brother B, and you could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I'd like to uh, take this moment to introduce to y'all tonight my co-host, my sister from a different mister, Mrs. Ward, go ahead and introduce yourself to the people who hey, don't know you. Hey, what's up, y'all? Appreciate y'all hanging out with us tonight. I'm just over here chilling with one of my favorite people. Uh, one of my favorite mentors, keeping my tech game tight all day. Telling you, I love hanging with Brother B. This is an honor and a privilege, as Thank always. You. Thank you for coming, my sister. Anytime. All right. So I invited Mrs. Ward out here to ride with us tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And if y'all want to catch her content, where can they find you? Solid Steps to Wealth is my channel. I just tell it like it is, raw and uncut. Some people can handle it, some of them can't. Listen, we're going to get more into Mrs. Ward right now as far as her channel, the content, and who would benefit from seeing it. Tonight's show, ladies and gentlemen, is in regards to our upcoming project. How to repair and replace, once and for all, the LG Linear Compressor. All right. Tonight, we're going to be opening up the phone. So if you have any questions about our project or what it's going to look like or what it's going to entail, please call us up. The number is 754-273-8185. All right. I'd like to get into some news tonight. Next week, we're going to have a guest speaker. Just like tonight, we got Mrs. Ward, a surprise speaker. But next week, we're going to have a very important person, okay? I want everybody to, to, to tap in next week, okay? Next week, we're going to have a, a guest uh, gentleman named Arthur Bailey, who for 30 years, he is a H&R specialist. Um, he uh, re, uh, specializes in human resources, um, employment law, i.e., like when you hire your subs, when you hire your uh, technicians, the law in regards to that, exactly how to properly hire them and how to properly fire them and subcontract. Also, uh, his specialty is in regards to maintaining HR policies, i.e., processes and procedures and SOP standing operating procedures. He's, he's a specialist in that. Uh, talent acquisition, 
i.e. looking for tech, stuff like that, and, and how to maintain employee records. So again, next week, live for free. This is a, a exclusive material normally to the TMM Academic uh, Committee, but I'm going to open it up to the whole YouTube facility because I feel like the whole world will benefit from this. All right, now that that's out the way, let's also talk about guys' support, all right? Please, if you want tech support, solid tech support, and you want a community of, of peers, and you feel like you just need that specialized one-on-one -on -one training, please check out tmmacademics.com. Myself and my business partner, Rick, host uh, weekly virtual classes every Saturday. We also have our walkie-talkie peer-to-peer group. If you need tech-to-tech -tech assist or tech-to-tech -tech support, please check us out at tmmacademics.com. Also, please show support by our merch if you want to get harassed at the supermarket and get told that you're a fine-looking man or woman, please buy our merchandise. That's the only way that they're going to tell you that. All right. Also, if work is slow and you need COD, I'd like to take this time to shout out our sponsors, MNJ. Again, COD call same day. Link will be below. Also, for CSR, customer service relation, management, uh, work uh, dispatching, uh, route management, invoicing, 1-800 number, scheduling. Please check out workeasy.com. They are the best in uh, uh, dispatching software for small business. Link will be below. Okay, and then finally, last bit of news. Be on the lookout for my business partner and I, Rick's uh, project, how to replace the LG linear compressor for both dual and single EVAPs. Step-by-step -step tutorial on troubleshooting, what tools are needed, how to do the repair, vacuuming, pressure testing, the whole nine. Be on the lookout for that. That's coming within the next few days. With all that out the way, we're going to go ahead and read comments. We're going to open up the phone lines. Again, the number is 754-273-8185. And we're going to take this time to spend some time with my co-host and welcome her to our, 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 our platform. Sis, the floor is yours. Thank you for being here. Well, I, I really appreciate it. Like I said, it's an honor and a privilege. You know, I always want to be around people who I feel who are really about uh, making sure that people are technically sound mm -hmm. when they go in the, into these homes and, and work on these appliances. Um, the market is changing, and it's nice to see people that are teaching people not only the right way, but making it, you know, reasonably priced, and you can move at your own pace, and then you guys are accessible, so... I'm always down for, for the facts. Whenever it's real and wrong, I'm always there. That's why I'm very supportive. I'm, you know, thank you for welcoming me into the fold and into the studio tonight. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's get into a little bit about yourself. Mm -hmm. um, how long have you been doing appliance repair? I've been doing appliance repair probably since, uh, personally, hands-on since last year, right around uh, November. Okay, so you're coming up on your year mark, exactly. basically. Exactly. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. What, what would you say, how has your first year in business been? Well, I think it's been a learning experience. Um, it's really forced me to, you know, people look at me and they look at the numbers and they, you know, think about, think I'm successful and X, Y, and Z. But, you know, I have a standard for myself and my standard is, um, number one of my issues is I'm a perfectionist. So in the last year, I restarted, like restructured my business maybe four or five times because, you know, I have to move with my market. You know, when I came into the game, I went straight to high end. And the reason I went to straight to high end was because that was the client base I came from in my previous life. So I was a customer dealing with that caliber of customer, the little, you know, idiosyncrasies and your endos. And when you deal with a lot of those appliances, in my personal opinion, I think some of the higher end is actually easier than some of the uh, the run-of-the-mill stuff. The run-of-the-mill stuff. 
Let me ask you something though. So you've been into this one year. Mm -hmm. So you get into appliance repair. Mm -hmm. And you don't even know it's high end. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming, right? Mm -mm. So you just taking on anything at this yeah. point. Mm -hmm. And then you realize, I'm like, oh, this is different than the run of the mill stuff. Exactly. This must be the high end. Exactly. And then you're like, all right, I'm here. I'm going to do it. Yeah. And how has it been? It's been a, a learning experience. But, you know, that's my background. You know, the worst thing you can ever tell me is what I can do. Mm. You know, I'm going to grind and then I'm going to retreat. I'm going to pull the information to uh, figure it out. And then I'm going to develop relationships with people who are experts in those areas. And, you know, humbly follow their lead, you know. So you got in, what was your background? Automotive, right? Yeah, automotive. So, so I, mm -hmm. go ahead. Yeah, automotive. So on the automotive side, that's what I dealt with. I dealt with that type of clientele. What did you do automotively? Well, I managed multiple locations. Mm -hmm. Uh, for uh, big box chains. You know, many years ago, I started out as a tech mm -hmm. at uh, Troncali, Mitsubishi in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And then I went from there and I started working for uh, BMW, Mercedes, those dealerships. And then from there, I was recruited to work for, you know, like Tires Plus, NTV, things like that. Eventually, I became an area director and I ran an entire market. So at one point, I had state of Washington, I had a state of Georgia, I had a significant, I had like Southwest Florida, I had Tampa, Orlando, mm. um, Brandon, Sarasota, all that type of stuff. So I was accustomed to managing shops and managing technicians. So your background is leadership. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, 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 and service industry. And service industry. Mm -hmm. So you go from, I'm assuming a, a position of delegating tasks, mm -hmm. overseeing, to now, you're doing that, but micro-scaling to yourself. Exactly. But in addition to that, you got to write out and do the job too now. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So now you 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 go from, did you have technical hands-on in the yeah. automotive? Yeah, I was, a, I'm ASC certified. So when you went from the automotive, mm -hmm. that, you know, uh, mechanical mm -hmm. background and you mix it with the appliances mm -hmm. was it was how was it well the key was i had to adapt like in when we're dealing automotive we have specs we have torques like with me i'm anal about tools yeah. like today i had an issue so i'm reading the manual it tells me it's an inch and five sixteenth so i'm automatically as a as a tech i'm thinking okay i'm gonna go get a deep well Mm. You follow me? I get a deep well, it's not deep enough. Mm. And then I already had like my uh, spanner wrench and it didn't work. Mm. So, you know, me, because I don't believe in that shade tree mentality, mm. as a tech, you get the proper tools to do the job properly. Mm -hmm. That's what I bring from automotive. As far as managing techniques, what I bring, about, bring from that also is that I believe like with my subs, I don't have issues because I put everything in place. I work with my subs and when I work with them, I see what their needs are. So what I do is like, I have one guy that this may be his thing. So then what I do is the parts of that, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I that logistic piece and all that managerial piece, mm -hmm. that's what I bring to the table. Mm -hmm. Now my hands on is because I can't be got, meaning I need to have access to tech sheets. I need to be able to, un to understand them because I don't need to have a tech working on something and then they're giving me BS mm -hmm. because I don't understand. So let me get this straight. So now, you get you got all the skills in mm -hmm. delegating. You got mechanical skills. Mm -hmm. You got a mechanical aptitude. Mm -hmm. What's your electrical like? My electrical is what I con constantly work on. What's your refrigeration like? My refrigeration is what I'm trying to get up to speed on. Okay, so you're good mechanically. Yeah. But it's the electrical and the refrigeration yep. that is you're working on. Those are the parts that I really, because <clears throat> whenever I go to a task, I look at where the industry is going and where your strong points need, need to be. And I always preach to people about diagnosing from the board. Like you look at refrigeration and you got the four different areas, the different areas that affect, you know, the different categories from flow to, you know what I'm saying, defrost, the different systems. Now, you have to understand how each one of those systems work so that when you approach a job, you know where to start. And see, a lot of times people don't understand theory mm. and they go, go through pattern recognition. Mm. And then you wonder why you're stuck. Mm. You can't sum down, you don't have to tear down. You follow me? Because if you understand the basic concepts, then you can apply it. And mm. see, that's what people don't understand. This is why you have to go back to the basics. Like mm. one of my pet peeves is 
I can't stand for somebody to call me and guess. Mm. First of all, you didn't study before you showed up for them. Mm. Mm. And I'm notorious for being up to 2, 3 in the morning. Like sometimes, if you ever watch me, I basically work seven days a week. Mm. But I'm working that because I'm playing catch up. And if I'm the owner, the boss, and I have people that work with me, for me, and for me, and I can do it, then I'm leading by example. At the same time, I'm getting myself up to speed because I believe in the 10,000 hours of submission. Yeah. Of immersion. Yeah. And you know, but that comes from, and this is why, what people don't Did understand. Did you get that from Robert Greene? Oh, 48 Laws on watching. Right yeah, 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 yeah. He got a book called Mastery. Yeah. Yeah, it's about them 10,000. Somebody got my book. <laughs> Whoever got it, I think it's Mark. Turn my book back yeah, up. But yeah, know, but that's real. That's a real learning curve. And you have to apply yourself. That yeah. means you either got to have laser vision, which yeah. is one reason I named my company. Shout out to Laser Vision. Please show support to yeah. Laser Vision. Yeah, so, you know. And that's why, you know, people like how you got plumbers and electricians, additional, so, well, it's because I read the market. Every wait, time. wait, 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 because you're going too far now. Uh -huh. Let's start. I like, to, <laughs> I like to start at the beginning. Okay. okay. So now you get into, you, you merge yourself into appliance repair. Do you quit your job? Yeah. When COVID hit. Yeah. Because I had a, a conflict at my job because yeah. I was making six figures. Yeah. I was comfortable. At your job. At my job. Yeah. And then you started doing this like part time. <laughs> yeah, I was doing this part time and I yeah. was fleshing out the business because I yeah. believe in KPI, key performance indicators. Yeah. And I wanted to make sure that when I got into the market, I was cutting into the sweet spot in the profit area. So you like, researched this before you came in. Exactly. This. What did you look at? Well, the first thing I did was I looked at the outlook. What do you mean? All right, for instance, help me because I I, don't, okay. I may not be as privy to this. Okay, all right. So before I came in, yeah, you know anybody who makes X amount of dollars, and as you move on in life, you believe in having seven. Well, I believe in having seven streams of income. Mm. You follow me? So Cheers to that. I have a relationship on the trucking side with yeah. Hot Shots. Okay, mm -hmm. I have a relationship with real estate, different areas. Yeah, but I was trying to find. Some something in the service industry since I had a service background that I could transfer my skill set into mm -hmm. and hit the ground running. Yeah. The beautiful thing about appliance repair is that there's so many avenues from commercial yeah. to high end. There are different residential, areas. yeah. There's exactly. niches. There's exactly. a lot of niches. It's niches. And so what I started was I actually started with boats. And how I started with boats is because at my job I have a relationship with you know, a couple of the marinas. Yeah. So there were they were having issues with having people servicing the yachts. Yeah. People didn't have twig cars. They didn't have certain documentation that they need to go on those the boats. Yacht, yacht. Exactly. So I start actually started there, and I started with salt there while I was working. Oh, what? Uh huh. Damn. All right. So now you're doing appliance repair, right? Mm -hmm. You get in your tools. Mm -hmm. You you starting to get out there and, mm -hmm. and seeing all these different things. How, uh, with an extensive background like yours in mm -hmm. business, mm -hmm. how long did you realize like, damn, I I have all this business background, but how the hell does this work? How long mm -hmm. did you realize like that you had to apply yourself mm -hmm. on the technical side and develop a technical understanding mm -hmm. of the appliances. How long before you realize like that's nece that's necessary? Well, I realized that when I couldn't trust my subs. Elaborate. Well, prime example, coming from an automotive background, you know you can take your car to the shop and they can tell you anything. Like for instance, you come to me and tell me your car is overheating. Now in my background, I'm thinking, okay, how long has it been overheating? I'm gonna prep the customer, yeah, you know, the customer might come in and say, I think I need a thermostat. Yeah. Well, in my brain, I'm thinking, okay, how long has it been overheating? There's a possibility your head gasket has yeah. been compromised, or maybe there's a restriction with flow at the radiator, or a problem with the water pump, yeah. because that's my background. So I'm going to have that conversation with the customer, and I'm totally prepared, and I'm prepping the customer so I don't have issues. Mm -hmm. So because I am a tech, a tech can't get over on me. Now, mm. on the on the appliance side, it's different. Mm. Because even though we have refrigeration and automotive, it's similar, but it's different. Very. Like, for instance... We put compressors on, we automatically put a dryer on, just like you do in appliance repair. Mm. You follow me? Our systems run a certain way. But, you know, we, we have, um, what's the word I'm looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? All right, so you have 
And on the motor, we have the compressor, mm -hmm. the receiver dryer. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have an orifice tube. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have an expansion valve, mm -hmm. depending on the system. Mm -hmm. You follow me? We have condensers just like everything else. Mm -hmm. We have fans. Mm -hmm. In some imports, we have a right and a left fan. One is a fan for the radiator. One's a fan for the condenser fan. Mm -hmm. You follow? So those systems, that's what I mean. You have to be able to understand when you're dealing with appliances, the nuances. Mm -hmm. Because what people keep, this is one thing I like about being educated in all fronts and mm -hmm. taking something from you and other instructors. Mm -hmm. You look at the old school guys, you know, they put these appliances together. They all work a certain way and they, you know, they could get away with pattern recognition. Mm -hmm. But with sensors mm -hmm. and Samsung and different, how they work, <clears throat> They're still mechanical, but the computer and the sensor is telling it what to do. We have that in automotive. It's a common thing. But I found out I needed to be because I'm here it is. I'm sending subs out to do a job. They're misdiagnosing. I'm taking care of the customer, and I'm taking a double hit, mm -hmm. meaning that I bought the parts. This was supposed to fix the problem, but they guessed. Mm -hmm. And their parts changes. They're not top technicians. So yeah. that's why I knew I had to get out because I had to protect my brain. No. So the 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 problem I see there, and thank you for sharing that, is that even if like you have good um business savvy to you, if you don't have the technical yeah. side down pat, yeah. when you hire your subs, they're gonna run laps around you. Exactly. You ain't even gonna know how to how to exactly. help them. So what 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 you now been in this a year. My channel got a, a bunch of like people from better than me, SEAL Team 6, down to like the guy or gal is still in the warehouse mm -hmm. thinking about mm -hmm. getting into appliance repair. Uh -huh. You done been in it a year now. Mm -hmm. You're a woman. Mm -hmm. My minority. Mm -hmm. Elaborate on that. Well, you know, I've always utilized that to my advantage because people are always shock when I walk in and I'm female. Yeah. They also shock when they figure out I actually own the company. And, um, you know, a lot of people are very comfortable with me, but that's just the rapport I brought with me. Yeah. Um, as far as the industry, um, I don't really have a problem. And the reason I don't have a problem is because I've been immersed in non-traditional fields from electrical to IBE, you know, to welding to X, Y, and Z, yeah. like my whole life. And so I walk in a place, I'm accustomed to being the only female. And I just make myself right at home because I'm usually putting everybody else at ease because they're not accustomed to it. You follow me? Mm -hmm. I've been doing that for years. I feel like it's a great uh, industry for women to get in. There are a lot of, uh, I noticed there's a group called uh, a SEAL system group. Mm -hmm. And there are several women. Shout them out. What's their name? Um, I don't know their name. All right, we'll look <laughs> yeah, but you know, I don't know the individual minutes. names, but there are a lot of women. Like yeah. it, it really jumped that there are two. I just wish I knew. one is Annette and I forgot the other young lady's name. Um, but they are constantly um doing LG and I notice a lot of times, you know, they're replacing the uh, they're also replacing a lot of condensers mm -hmm. in LGs and things like that. So and they and I watch their methods and how they work. Um but I really haven't had, because, you know, many years ago, I figured if somebody had a problem with me, it ain't me. You know, that's your problem. Mm -hmm. I'm very comfortable in my skin. And who I, that's why I show up authentic. And that's why I got the pro Miss War team and the anti-pro, you know. And it doesn't bother me because I'm okay with me. You know, I show up authentic. So you don't ever have to worry about how, I guess, how I feel about you because I'm going to let you know. Mm -hmm. And I can take what I get. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I just try to be as straight up as I can be, you know. Being in it in a year, I think what I recommend people to do is stop kicking tires. That, what does that mean? That means, like, stop trying to figure out if you want to do it. You're going to have to touch it and feel it because mm. it's not what you think it is. Mm. You know, a lot of times people will go buy these programs in a nice shiny box because the instructor is more palatable or they speak in a mm -hmm. way that makes them feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. But they're really not giving you game. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you got to have a game. You know? And that's what people don't understand. They sit here, they want to... You know, I have been in situations where I paid thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars for a lot of the stuff I have. And the reality is, these are people that took some things and packaged them, and I could have Googled it. I mean, this is real talk. 
I mean, there are people, there are several YouTubers I know personally. You follow me? Because I have paid to be a mastermind. And I'm not knocking none of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and that's why I had to go through certain things so I could appreciate real. That's why I'm sitting here. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, you know, there are several ways this you could have played this game. Yeah. You didn't have to put the subscription for those groups or for the... And this is what people understand, the gems that we get on Saturdays. Yeah. That that that, that hour on Saturday. I hate yeah. when I miss, like I missed the last Saturday and I wanted to be right there. Yeah. Because you get to be able to communicate with yeah. other students. <clears throat> you get to ask questions. And see, I'm the kind of person, see, some people aren't like me. Like I am, I realize that I'm different. Mm -hmm. And different in a way that like today, I already have a catalog of every issue I had. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I do is I go home and figure out how do, can I do this better? And then being one, a female, I always have, like, if you look on my truck, I got the air sled, I got the, the dolly, the all dolly, I got all the tools because I have to have that second man with me. Because mm -hmm. I'm always, people always wonder, like, when I go work on the Thermidors, how is she going to move that? Yeah, take Where it I bring my air sled and, I'm, yeah. and they're just amazed. But that's okay because I charge accordingly. And that's where my business piece come in. See, people ask me, I don't know how you could charge that. Like today, I'm working on uh, a stackable. The stackable is in an Airbnb, and they custom, it's the entire place is customized. Mm -hmm. So they have a server, unit, cat for everything, like a whole studio on the back end. And there is, everything is encased behind the washer. Mm -hmm. So I had to pull all those items out. And I charged, of course, see, I don't have a problem with that. Mm -hmm. Because when it's mechanical and I understand the structure, the architecture, I know how to, like everybody else, take pictures, look at, and then I think before I move. See, real technicians think mm -hmm. before they make a move. Mm -hmm. They don't just go start taking screws out and then don't know where nothing goes back. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is the reality. But we have we have a waiver on our website too on TMM uh -huh. Academics that if anybody's watching and you pulling out a unit you should make them sign that mm -hmm. it's a waiver like we're gonna do our best you know uh -huh. it, it is worded to like properly to safeguard you mm -hmm. airtight mm -hmm. like you know by signing this you agreeing mm -hmm. to like we're gonna exactly. remove it as good as we can exactly. but go ahead I'm sorry to cut you yeah. off yeah and so like I walk in there they got hardwood floors everything is meant. So I got all my, you know, my uh, shop bag, all that stuff with me to catch water, you know. But you think ahead before you make the moves. We got a call. Let's go ahead and answer this. All right. <laughs> <laughs> call it your love. Leo. Call it your love. Call it now. Talk about it. Let's talk about it then. Let's do it. Good, good, good evening. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking to? You're talking to Leo. Leo. She's a Leo. Good evening, sir. Where you calling from? Calling from VA. VA's in the building. 757. Tapping in. What's good, brother? How can we help you this evening? I don't know. I figured I'd call to both of you. That's all. Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. Thank boomerang. You, boomerang back at you, man. What you doing on a Friday night? Thanks for tapping in. Order parts. Research and studying. There you go. That's what's up, brother. That's what's up. How long you been in this, brother? I've been doing <laughs> fire. I've been doing fire for a year. Apologies, brother. A year and what now? I do both. HVAC as well as fire Oh, I think I've spoken to you before, Leo. You've called here before, right? Yeah, my G. How you, brother? I'm maintaining, man. I can't complain. All this work. That's what's up, man. How's, how's work? How's work? How's work in your side? Uh, everything good. Staying busy. Staying busy. Okay. And now you do HVAC and appliances, correct? Yes. Okay. Both going good for you? Very well, sir. So. You got any uh, questions? Uh, hey, we got we got this uh LG linear compressor um course that we about to drop. Have you ever changed one of them? Yeah, yeah. I I, I called you one time before and I had I had 
had a crawl back on my first one. I had to go back out to the double back. I had to swap out the evaporator for whatever. You know. Now you go. Now you go money with him. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to keep it real with you. The last four or five that I had, every single one of the issues was in the evaporator court. So I'm starting to keep it, like, real easy on myself and just condemn the compressor and the evap and keep it moving. Man. They pay. I'm going to replace it. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you upgraded with the J? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I ain't going to lie. Bro. This is a tool. Or whoever let me listen, I don't know. We listen, and brother, go ahead. Them joints was unavailable. Like I'm calling, they was like, you had to have a, a, a L, you had to be with LG only to get a jig. And I, I made the uh, the warranties copy jig. They threw the jig in there with with the compressor. So good. The rock is cold, man. They send one every time if you tell me. Cesar Leo, man, you should definitely tap into our academic group, man. We got a walkie-talkie group, man. You you sound like the type of um prospect we looking for, man. You know, educated, professional, and you know, um about this life, man. Um, why don't you email me? I'm gonna put my email in the um link here. Email me, brother. I wanna tap in with you. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get into all that social stuff. You know what I mean? You know. It's my second time ever calling somebody, man. It's like, I'm old to it. I feel like I'm calling the radio station. <laughs> you are, brother. You are, man. Hey, you are. And we glad to have you, bro. <laughs> we glad to have you, Leo. Shout out to Leo from PA, man, tapping in. Hey, I put my, I put my email in there. E um, Leo, email me, bro. I got you. I'm going to tap in with you. But we, um, I said, uh, I did a uh, 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 LG the other day, and then it didn't have the three-way valve. It was a single joint um, with the inverter on the side, uh, the E-linear joint. Um, long story short, I had to go back and put that on there. I had to, so you get comfortable. You just get there, you, you, you get it out, you throw that compressor in, and you think you're keeping it moving. But um, it turned on. It's like around 5.30. I did some bullshit. I told them to call me at the end, cool and property. They called me in all cool and property. I went out there the next I went out there the next morning. There was the uh the, the capacitor was bad. I ain't I, I ain't diagnosed. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna die now. I just got I got I got access coming. Um so it was the capacitor as well as uh uh, one of them codes on the board that, that led me to replace the board. Got the board, put the board on there, joint board, and some customers had to show. You just gotta slow down sometimes, man, and get too, too, too happy, you know? Leo, let me tell you something, brother. You see this young lady that's sitting here next to me, man, one time she tells me, hey, bro, Cause she's a boss. She got about 30 tags. She's all over the place. You know, she's the MVP out here and stuff, right? So she, she hollered at little old me, right? And she's like, hey, bro, I need you to help me out. I got, you know, I need this little, I need you to do whatever, whatever for me, right? You know, I'm working for her now. And I'm like, I thought it was the other way around, but she the big homie. So I'm like, all right, copy, what you got for me, sis? She was like, look, come out here with me. You know, I get to this big high rise, whatever, whatever. And um, I look, look at her and I'm like, what's going on? And she's like, we got to change the compressor. And the first thing I told her was, hey, we got to do our troubleshooting. Exactly. And you know what? The first thing we did, bro, we tapped into the system, right? And, um, you know, we, we noticing that when we put it in a vacuum, um, it, it wasn't holding a vacuum. It, it was trying to go back to zero. We noticed that the board was giving us quotes for the inverter. Um, like we, we did like a thorough troubleshooting and bro, we went, we doubled back and when we did, we had all the correct parts. We had the evaporator board and the compressor and the filter dryer. And to this day, have they called back? Mm -mm. Oh. Nah, that's how you guys do it. And that's, that's dope that you Y'all holding each other down. That's, 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 that's love right there. This, this, my, this my sister. <laughs> this boy, she was talking about building a tribe. You know what I mean? Oh, appreciate so. that. Thank you.
Hey, you tapped into her channel, right? It's called Solid Steppers. So, uh, yeah, Solid Steps yeah, to Wealth. Are. Solid Steps to Wealth. A part of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, long story short, just trying to, just trying to, you know, continue to start picking my brains, man. Let me tap in with y'all a little bit more. Anytime, bro. There's other things that I got to start up on, you know? Anytime, bro. Yo, Caesar Leo, man. Thanks for tapping in, bro. Anytime, man. You familiar. You heard? All right. Mm -hmm. You already, Miss Ward? Thank you again. All right. All right, right y'all. Let's hit the like button for Caesar Leo. Calling out a PA Pennsylvanian in the building. Let's read some of these comments here. I would like to take a special time out and shout out Fearfully <laughs> and Wonderfully Made. How you doing, brother? Saw the notification and had to show support. I look forward to checking in later. That's what's up. Trinity, that's Laurent. Mm -hmm. Laurent, <laughs> what's good? Laurent in the building. Charged up services. We are live. Molly Mill. What's good, Molly? Okay, charged up. He knocked out an LG today. Awesome. There you go. Whirlpool yesterday and GE on Monday. That's what's up, man. Shout out, yeah. man. Charged up. Congrats you on the one-year business. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank I you. Congrats you too, man. Let's thank give you. a thumbs up for Miss Ward and her one-year anniversary. Thank you. My apps. What's good, my apps? My apps says, oh, snap, Miss Ward is a celebrity. <laughs> you got your crew out here tapping in. All right. Uh, creative Connection. What's good? Molly Mill, this is what I really want to do. I right, tap into tmmacademics.com. Okay, charged up services. That's going back to what you were saying. He says, you only as good as your tools. Exactly. You know what I mean? Okay, Juan. Juan, what's good, Juan? Walla B, what's good? And Miss Ward, Carlos Cortez. What's up? Let's talk to him before I rolled up in here. Look at that, man. You a celebrity, Miss Ward. All right. Magic. What's good, Magic? Um, Jackson Briggs. What's good, Jackson? Love, peace, and harmony. Richard Zilka. My co- my co brother. What's good, big bro? That's my brother right there. Again, be on the lookout for our LG. How to replace the LG linear compressor. We're a little bit behind time. We're trying to get an, a professional editor. And he's, he works for the Miami Heat, so we're in the final stages of, you know, getting all that secured. So we're going to have A1 uh, quality. What's good, Rick? I love you, bro. Love, peace, and harmony. Kirks. Kirks. What's up, Kirks? Kirks is in the <laughs> building. Rod. What's good, Rod? Uh, Sweet Jones. Are you guys located in the DMV? I'm in need of training. Nah, brother, we in South Florida. But again, if anybody's in the DMV area looking for uh, an apprentice, Sweet Jones, y'all please um, politic in the, in the comment section. Okay, Brandon, are you putting a course on commercial repairs? Soon. But for now, we got basic electricity, sealed system, how to run and start your own appliance repair business, and basic refrigeration 101 going on simultaneously. Please check out tmmacademics.com and thanks for tapping in, my apps. Molly Mills says, salute Miss Ward. Hey, thank you, Molly. Right. All right. Home Tech. That's Aaron. For, that's the brother right there. He's, he's, he's part of our own work. Oh, yeah, what's know, good, A? Yeah, he said, what's up to you? Thank you. you. Thank Congrats. you for the congratulations. Appreciate it. All right. So now, let's, let's, let's get back to you. And everybody, I just want to thank y'all for tapping in. Again, call us up, number 754-273-8185. We got my sister from a different mister. Mrs. Ward is in the building. So, Mrs. Ward, you're getting down to the appliance repair. You're knee deep in it. You got your van. You got your, your uniform. You got your, your website. You got your, your clientele. You're starting to do appliances. What made you want to get tech so fast? Well, it's because that's just the background. I mean, if you want to grow slow, go by yourself. You want to grow fast, go with someone else. Uh, well, the key is I had, was getting a lot of work, mm -hmm. and 
I needed to be able to duplicate myself. Mm. But I needed to duplicate myself in the weak areas, meaning wherever I was weak, I would find techs that were stronger in those areas and I would assign those jobs to them. Mm. And since I had the logistics piece under control as far as coordination, where they're going to be, how to get the parts to them, you know, I, that was natural for me. That was the ultimate, because my ultimate goal is to be at the point where I have guys who are seasoned that sit at a desk every day and the techs go out with Epson glasses mm -hmm. and they, they walk them through the process, mm -hmm. you know, because that's where we're headed, period. You, 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 one day I'm, I'm, I'm doing a job and I get a call. And it's like, oh, what's good, Miss War, whoopie whoop. And I'm like, Miss War from YouTube? Oh, what's good? How you doing? Uh, how'd you find out about me, if you don't mind me asking? Well, you know, I study everything online. I use YouTube University just like everybody else. Mm -hmm. And I always vet people. Mm -hmm. You follow me? So when I vet people, I um, look at their work ethic. I look what they put out. And I... I knew I needed to connect with you. Mm. And see, that's what people don't understand is that they don't know how to, first of all, humble themselves mm. and go to people who know more than them, mm. you know, and learn. Mm. You know, most people get out here and act like they know it all, mm. and they really don't know anything. Mm. The day you know it all is the day you fail. You know, I could learn stuff from you too, man. I think that um, in this industry, you always learn. Mm -hmm. And I think that no one really knows it all. I think that every single day, everybody learns something from somebody, you know? So um, I can't discredit all those years of automotive you got. That's a lot of delegation. That's a lot of, and you know, you need that in this because there's the business, but then there's the tech. Uh -huh. And, you know, you could be a wonderful tech, you know, but be a, a, a tech all your life. Or you can be a wonderful business person, but... The thing about appliance repair, you gotta have tech though. It it won't it won't it it will. The thing about appliance repair, it'll police itself. Cause this is what will happen. Let's say you get out on a job and you replace a compressor, right? And you want to go ahead and because you quote unquote this business guru, mm -hmm. and you want to charge something astronomical. Well, guess what? They may pay. And mm -hmm. salute to you, you did it. But guess what? If you don't have that tech back, mm -hmm. guess what's going to happen? You're going to be on another job. Charging something crazy, too, because, quote, unquote, you got this business background mm -hmm. and you feel like you mm -hmm. warrant all this money. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be in the middle of that job and the first customer going to call you and say, hey, you just charged me X amount mm -hmm. and my fridge ain't working. What's mm -hmm. up? That's and that way, wait, wait, real quick. And then you're going to double back and you're going to try to see what's up with that. But you still had that second customer. Exactly. But now guess what? Your phone call ring again and now it's a third customer. Mm -hmm. But you still got to go back to the second customer because exactly. you're currently on the first. Exactly. So you push the third one out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And now guess what? You like trying to chase your tail because you ain't got no foundation. Exactly. And, you know, I tell you and I tell anybody that's new, um, business is, is, is crucial, but you got to know technical as well. We're technicians mm -hmm. and these customers can Google this stuff exactly. and they can research this as well. Mm -hmm. And they can spot if you're bullshitting exactly. and, you know, part of my language. And the thing is, is like, you never want to go on a job and not be prepared. You know, you want to have at least did some homework on the appliance. Mm -hmm. But if you take the time and you learn the fundamentals from scratch, you start with the, the basics of electricity. You learn what a circuit is because you need that to learn schematics. Mm -hmm. Once you learn your electricity, you learn like schematics, you learn series, parallel, and then you start getting into now one appliance learn the cycles what does it do then learn the components what does each component do then learn how to test the components and then as you're learning you're starting to piece together like like a nucleus all these things that go into that one appliance 
And then what happens is like once you learn like the electrical side of it, the mechanical side of it, and the refrigeration side of it, or in gas or oven, you know, that side of it, then now you start realizing that you've created like fundamentals that can get you out of a jam across all the platforms because they all work the same. Mm-hmm. One cut co- one company call it a boot, the other company calls it a bellow. One company calls it, you know, whatever, the other kind of pro reprogram or whatever. But you gotta learn fundamentals. And my advice to you is you're doing great with your acumen and business. I think you're on the right path. I think you're gonna do great. And it seems to me like you got a large um craving to learn and that's what's going to separate you from your competitors the 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 knowledge to know the wise to the wise because that's what made me good and that's what my mentorship was and i want to give a special shout out to my brother durham if you're watching and you know guys like that man they didn't allow me to to have fast they didn't allow me that i had to come to the table knowing my stuff just to let them tell me like, okay, check this and check that. So you're doing good and um, keep it up, man. And um, I, I'm impressed that you're willing to take on anything. You don't care high end, low end. <laughs> like some stuff I don't even do. And I'll be like, uh, sis, I can't help you because I, I don't do that shit. You know, but like take microwaves for your instance. Yeah. A lot of people don't do them well. The reason why I, fall, I deal with them is because they're electrical. Mm-hmm. It's electrical training like when i deal with the wall ovens and stuff like that those are really basic electrical functions even when i deal with people don't believe it but when i deal with the mila coffee makers and Mm. mila ovens you know i mean it's german schematics yeah so i get to practice the craft and practice what i've learned right and i'm going in areas that other people don't do like the coffee makers people run away from mila coffee makers i run to them yeah i don't know how to do that you know, I pull them out of the wall. I go through the process. It's yeah. usually one, one, two, three. They have a great diagnostic menu. I mean, it's yeah. You know, it's and Nila will let you call them too. Yeah, and, and they have some of the best technical support I've yeah. ever seen. Yeah, and and like most tech support companies, they at least want you to do some legwork. Mm-hmm. Call them like, hey, look, I done did this, that, mm-hmm. you know, I got this and that going mm-hmm. on, you know, mm-hmm. rather than, hey, I'm at a coffee maker, what do I do? Exactly. They want you to do some lead work. And see, the thing about Mila, what I like is they're so protective on their material. Mm-hmm. They know if you're calling, a lot of times you don't have access. Mm-hmm. You follow me? Because they are very protective mm-hmm. of the material. They don't release certain things unless you are certified through them, by them, da 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 mm-hmm. You know, so like I said, I have a, that's well, actually my favorite tech support line is Nima. Yeah. yeah. And you do all brands. Yeah. I even deal with Fisher Pay Care. And commercial. Yeah. And then the Fisher Pay Care I did um, on a boat. I Let's did, be clear, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I, I don't know. I tend to stay away from Fisher Pay Care. Man, you look bad. I like the dynamic bad, uh, cooking systems by Fisher Pay Care, DCS. Good for you, man. Good yeah, for you. but it's the, it's all I'm the proud same. Of you. Just like, you know? I'm proud of you. What about the disassembly, though? Mm-hmm. How are you with that? Well, you know, I learned like everybody else. I broke some lines. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you don't break a line, then you know what I mean? But you can't be scared, though. You can't you be scared. You gotta get out there and just Yeah, and that's part of it. And if you're not sure, just start <laughs> taking screws apart. But it'll come yeah. apart. Look at how many gonna... people don't deal with propane or gas. And you Especially do. in South Florida, because they're scared. I mean, what? I mean... But that's what a paper is. And you cannot be, and I tell mm-hmm. people all the time, find the things people don't want to work at on, become an expert, and charge accordingly. Just know what you're doing. Let, let's give a special shout out to Rob. Rob, what's good? Love, peace, and harmony. Um, study all the time. Peace and blessings, Mrs. Ward. <laughs> study all the time since you were shot. <laughs> Thank you. Study all the time. Uh, exactly what I'm going to be doing when I leave here. Kirks, my Friday night used to be so different. Now I'm just ordering parts and reading text sheets. <laughs> indulging myself in the appliance world. Miss Ward, this is a career. This isn't a job. 
Yeah. You gotta, you, this is, you in it to win it with this. Mm -hmm. And there's so much. Yeah. And it's a forever learning thing. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Dan Young, what up, family? What y'all think about WorkEase software? You use WorkEase, right? Oh, Tell yeah, me about I it. I love it. I love Please. it. I Tell love me. it. The thing I like about WorkEase is that it grows with the business. So if you're a one-man show, you can learn it, tweak it, and uh, as you grow, you can add people to it. I have my subs attached to it, my staff attached to it. I send out text messages. I, you know, I communicate with the customer through it. That way you can mask like your personal phone numbers yeah. and things like that. And it really gives you a great, I love the fact it sends reminders to the customers. Just you need to be on your game with the schedules. I think, you know, work is, is one of those um, apps and software, you know, CRMs that it will do everything you needed to do and more. It's kind of like how you buy a smartphone and a lot of times you don't know all the functions, mm -hmm. but you can make it do much more. That's what I like about work is work is grows with the company. Mm -hmm. So depending on whether you're one or more, mm -hmm. or if it's you and you're using subs, you can make it, you can, I mean, you can take estimates, payments, all that stuff through it. It's a great program. Thank you for the question, Dan Young. Ed, what's good, Ed? Sweet Jones, if you rush the job, you'll slow down your money. Thoughts? Absolutely. You can't rush the job. Shout out to Sweet Jones. Ed says, when he grows up, he wants to be just like both of us. <laughs> and we want to be like you, man. All right. Uh, creative, connect, uh, creative Connection. Agreed with you, Brandon. That's why I always tell people to understand the theory of the appliance and the troubleshooting will be easy. Mm -hmm. Many a times, that's, what, that's all I go into the job with. Sometimes they'll call me and say, hey, I got whatever, whatever, whatever. And I have so much stuff, I'll say, sure, just send me a text and send me your info. And when I get there, I'll look at it and see what you got. But just because of the fact that I know theory and, mm -hmm. and, and, and so sound. Cause that's uh, that mindset in that high. Alright, we back live again. Oh well. Alright, we back live again. Okay. All right. And then now, oh wait, let me turn off so we can see the uh Alright, we good. Should be live. All right. All right, cool. Uh, apologies, ladies and gentlemen. We had a little hiccup there. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. Apologies. All right. Uh, let's get back here. Okay. PG. Okay. Okay. Trinity says Rochelle doing big things. <laughs> Trinity TV. Again, what's good, LaRon? What's up, LaRon? Always keeping me covered. <laughs> All right. All right. General C. Uh, appliance. Hola. Que went <laughs> that. Greg B. Greg B. What's good, Miss Ward? What's up, Greg? All right. Now that's a studying brother right there. Yeah. Oh yeah, he on it. Yeah, he, he be is. tapping in. Greg B. He he played he be playing um Jeopardy the other day with with us. That's the homie. What's up, Greg B? Why you don't tap in and say what's up, brother B? <laughs> he says what's up, Miss Will. We don't care about you. <laughs> <me." laughs> All right. Um, is she saying Mila? Yep, Mila. That's correct. The brand Mila. Ryan's do it yourself. About time we got Miss Ward on the show. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. You know, I didn't know you was trying to tap in with me. <laughs> One day I get a call and she was like, yo, Brandon, I've it's Miss Ward. I've been trying to get a hold of you, but you like the crowd. I was like, Miss Ward, I'm here. What's the vibe? <laughs> nah, you know, whatever. They've been trying to keep me in the dark. I'm like, nah, here's my number. Call me whenever you want. 
All right, shout out to Ryan, though. He said, what's up to you? What's up, Lou? All right, top authority. Okay, we said that. Uh, I got to Okay, Kirk's is working on the Fisher Pay Cal now. Y'all tell Sears to change their website back. <laughs> I don't got that kind of pull, Kirk's. Not yet, What's up, top authority? What's good, top authority? All right. Uh, my app says, did you see the article today in the Washington Post about the need for appliance repair techs? They spoke to Fred's and Dryer Schools. Both have wait lists. Do you do in-person training or just virtual? Not yet, but right around the corner, right around the corner, brother, my apps, and we're going to have the best of the best. Brother Richard Zilka, what's good again? Caliber Electronics, what's good? What up, brother B? It ain't like that, cuz. You the big homies. You the big <laughs> homies, bro. My guy right there. All right, Caliber says, anybody ever rebuilt a R12 Sub-Zero refrigerator, Ooh. freezer side? Ooh. Man, Ooh. R12. There's a kit. If it's R12, mm -hmm. if you, you could turn it into r 134 -ing. Yeah, that's something we are real familiar with in automotive. Yeah? Retro. We call them retro kits. To go from R12 to 134 yeah. What y'all mm -hmm. change? The compressor? We changed the compressor and all the valves. The TXV? What y'all use, TXV or capillary? We use capillary. Okay, so y'all changed the compressor and the capillary? Mm -hmm. And what else? That's it? Well, no, we changed because it just depends on the unit, what uh -huh. we're dealing with, and the type of uh, vehicle. We usually change the compressor, the dryer. The compressor dryer? Uh huh. And that's it. And then the actual valves that we use. And then they're good to go. And they're good to go. Flush out the system, keep it popping. Now, some of those older ones, but they have desiccant bags in them. Mm -hmm. So they don't have, they're not like, uh, regular dryers mm -hmm. you know normally like how you guys weld welders in that's mm -hmm. why i was leaning so toward the solderless side the slot ring yeah because i came out of automotive mm -hmm. the yeah. thing about lock ring is they're coming and if Especially we this are 600 20 years ago there was appliance repair technicians and they they had a dilemma to face, just like how we have a dilemma to face now. Their dilemma was, there's all these appliances coming with these boards. I'm not going to deal with them. I'm only going to deal with the ones that have the timers. Screw the boards. And then there was some text that was like, damn, I got to learn electronics. And I got to learn these boards. And they leveled up. Mm -hmm. And they kept on growing with the industry. Mm -hmm. R600 is coming mm -hmm. and lock ring is going to be here. So I got to learn to get used to lock ring mm -hmm. and learn to, to love it yeah. and put a smile on my face because mm -hmm. you know what? What's going to happen is they're going to phase out, in my opinion, 134A and that's going to be it. Mm -hmm. R600, yeah. lock ring, solidless. And then you look at your, your European side, they've been doing it. If I talk, when I talk to the techs who are Russian or German, because I talk to everybody, because I get game from everybody. And those guys have been doing solidless. Mm. You know? So. R600 is coming. Get y'all lock rings up. <laughs> All right. Um, boss Appliance Repair says, What's up, peeps? What's good, boss? What's up? Top authority. I ran into a few compressors that were over 140 degrees. Is there anything besides a failed? compressor that it can be all right this is a great question top authority which will get which will segue us right into our um topic of the night which is what our our our, our future well our current course that me and brother rick are working on which is lg linear compressors and how to replace them again let me make sure again um, guys, I don't know how to answer no questions other than if it's done right. And what I mean by that is this, unless you have not tapped into it, tapped into the system and have gauges, I can't help you. 
Um, you can get a lot of information from using a, a amp clamp to get an amp draw on the compressor. You can get a lot of information from feeling the pipes, but unless you tap into the system, I can't help you. You got to be able to unplug the system, let the system equalize. Check how long it takes for the system to equalize. You have to know your pressures. You have to know if you're dealing with an inefficient compressor, if you're dealing with a freon leak, if you're dealing with a restriction, if you're dealing with an overcharged unit. You get there and somebody already changed the compressor and you see a big frost line on the low side. You got to know the, the pressures and you got to know the theory first. You got to know how much that board is supposed to be sending down. If it's a, if it's a, 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 a dual evap, uh, has, has this unit been serviced with the valve in the home, three-way valve in the home position? You got to know all of these things. So to my brother that sent me that question, what was his name? Top uh, authority. Was it top authority? No, nah, was it him? Oh yeah, it was him. Yeah, top authority. The first question I'm going to throw back at you is, what was your temperature when you got there? What was your pressures when you got there? Were your fans running? Did you check your thermistors? Just because it's an LG and it's not cooling, don't just throw a compressor at it. That's not the answer. You got to know how to properly troubleshoot it. So be on the lookout for that that we're about to uh, 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 release here. Okay, uh, Caliber Electronics says you can still solder 600A, just dumb out the gas oil. All right, thank you for the information. Uh, General C says block capillary or filter dryer. Not sure what he means by that. He's talking about the uh, automotive side. Okay, uh, they politicking, they politicking. When you tap into the system with gauges, how much gas do you think you lose in the hoses? Okay, great question, Brother Kirks. If you haven't seen my video, uh, I put one probably like two, three months ago. It's on putting the piercing valve on the process stub. When you get to an LG compressor, right? Again, be on the lookout for our course this we're about to release. The first thing you need to do is you need to put a piercing valve on the process stuff. If you don't even know what that means, then you need the course. But basically, that's the little piercing valves that go on the on the low side, the processing stuff. When you put that in, you shouldn't have a lot of loss of, of, of Freon because that's pretty tight on that tube. And when you you know tighten it correctly, you, you should have minimum um you know leak if any come out of that and then you'll be able to uh tap it into your low side all right um okay you dealing with zips no loss you i'm not sure what that means you got a drum i'm not sure all right so listen we are about to wrap up now two things i want to thank you for coming you're welcome I want to allow you the opportunity to promote your um, YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. What is the content of it? Who will benefit from it? And um, for my subscribers who don't know you, that they seeing all these people like, Miss War, Miss War. <laughs> and now my subscribers is like, who is this Miss War person? <laughs> How can we see more of you? And where can we find you? And what's your channel about? All right, my channel is Solid Steps to Wealth, and the channel basically deals with my journey in appliance repair. And I'm, you know, basically recording my daily events, you know, the highs, the lows, the authentic. And, you know, and I'm giving out my, you know, sage advice of years of just business, but also just dealing with people and trying to get a business off the ground, protecting your brand, marketing, just the day-to-day -day and the hands-on tech side. And I'm just as real as they come. So my challenge is for somebody that just want to, if you know, if you're not out here, it gives you a real glimpse of what's going on. It's not polished. It's authentic as it, as it can be. And I respond to all the comments and things of that nature. And, you know, I just basically do it on a daily basis. 
let you guys know what's going on in the business. You'll see me at the places picking up cars, dealing with my staff, all kinds of things. And it's called Solid Steps to Wealth. If you want to find me, that's where you're going to find me at. Guys, I put it in the in the description. Um, Again, Miss Ward, I'd like to thank you for being part. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for believing in, you know, TMM Academics. Oh, you guys thank you for you. enrolling. Thank you for, how, how do you like the walkie-talkie app? Oh, I love it. You know, I'm not in there as much as I'd like to because I'm I'm out here grinding. How has it helped you? It's, it helps me. If I ever get stuck, I can always reach out and so everybody has a response. Even on my rough days, mm -hmm. you know, like the water flood day. Mm -hmm. You probably didn't hear about that one. No, you had a water yeah, flood? Yeah, one of my subs. Oh, what happened? <laughs> hey, you got to go <laughs> One of my subs was rushing, and he pushed uh, he pushed the uh, um, the Samsung refrigerator. He was doing an ice maker, yeah, and the ice maker kit, and he pushed this, it back and broke the water valve, flooded the kitchen. Oh, oh yeah. How'd you get rid of that? Oh, how did it? You know, I'm blessed. What you do have to um, get those little fans, uh, the like from Home Depot that blow the air. Yeah, what we did was we went and uh, first he ran out because I was up in Palm Beach. He was down here in Broward. He ran out. He turned the water off yeah. at the main. The main, yeah. And then you know, since I had plumbers yeah. and electricians that worked for me, my plumber was on vacation. He called him over the phone, told him to go to Home Depot, get a cap off. Yeah. You know, yeah. and to cap it till I had a plumber come in the next day to handle it. And what and the customer was in? Oh, the customer was cool because, oh, you know, you dealt with a lot of my customers. I had that High rapport. Yeah. And when you had that rapport yeah. and they know you're going to handle it, you stand behind your stuff. I, yeah. I didn't have any problems. You know, and then the kid ended up talking to the plumber and went and got like a sharp bite with a 90 degree and actually fixed the... You know, mm. they could actually use the, he, you could hook it back, he hooked the line back up to the refrigerator, they could have water and all that. And then when I had the other tech come in, I, you know, the uh, the plumber come in and I had to explain to myself, he's like, but I fixed it. I said, no, man, you have to have a re authorized plumber come in because if anything happens, we open ourselves up for liability because we didn't have it professionally done by someone who was certified and da-da-da. But the customer was cool as ice, man. Cool, huh? He was cool. Yeah. Yeah. He was shout out to Gus. Shout out to Gus. If Gus was it. cool. <laughs> Let me tell you something about that customer. He um was a brother, you know, he one of my, my Spanish brothers, working ten jobs, taking care of his family. Yeah. He had a heart attack. He had a, a open heart surgery. And he's always telling me to slow down and calm down. So he when I say his demeanor, yeah. Because life just showed him he's like nothing. When I say nothing upsets this dude. Yeah, he should call me <laughs> mellow. Mellow. You know what I'm saying? So it was a blessing. All right. Listen, y'all. Make sure y'all go to Solid Steps to Wealth and show support to my sister from a different mister. We didn't get a chance to shout out Q from Empire Appliance Repair. What's up? Yeah, that's he's TMM alumni as well. Yeah, that's my he always got my back. That's another brother that took off and hit the ground oh, and running. I, you know, I, I've been quiet with my alumni. I ain't bring them <laughs> on here, but you know what? You need to start doing I'm that. A, I'm gonna I'm gonna show the world with my alumni. You need like, to be the first one. No, we got Juan too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bring Juan yeah. on here too. Juan from um Detroit. Juan, what's good? He's TMM alumni too. It's a lot of it's a lot of y'all out yeah, here, man. But I, need, I'm gonna start bringing y'all on so here. So you can get your roses while you're here. You playing? That's real. Hey, thank you, man. That means For a lot to me. Um, I think we have one more comment, and we'll check out. Um, oh, we got a few. Oh shit, <laughs> Patrick Cole. You know. Uh -huh. All right, what's good, Patrick Cole? How you doing, Miss Ward? Hey, Patrick. I've been trying to get on your online class. Again, tmmacademics.com, Patrick. All right, charged up services. Search a little bit of refrigerant being used, in my opinion. No need counting. Will take you forever to drum out 134.8. <laughs> Zips versus five pound. Five ounces ain't nothing. Stress counting. Shout out to Charged Up. <laughs> But, you know, I can't say that on here. You know, I'm trying to promote the right way. The but, professionalism. But five ounces is about, <laughs> no, because it's going to be about 4.8, 4.76. So he ain't wrong for that. Shout out to um Charged Up, man. Thanks for tapping in. Awesome. All right. Um, 
Todd guy. Yo, bro, the gas valve we talked about was not bad, but filled with oil. Okay. That's what's up, Todd guy. I'm glad you figured it out, man. Thanks for tapping in. John L. was good. Okay. Kirk says, when you tap into the system, put your gauges on. I think you may lose a couple ounces just in the hoses. However, if you're tapping, the refrigerator probably ain't working. Kirk, so I'm going to show you how to do that, man, that you ain't going to lose a couple ounces, brother. Yeah. Um, we, we, you got to close the gauges the right way. All right. Again, y'all, we about to wrap up, man. Again, look, be on the lookout for the LG, how to properly um, replace the LG linear compressor. Subjects to be included. What tools are going to be necessary to do the repair? How to properly diagnose the unit. How to properly tell if you have a restriction. How to properly tell if the unit's undercharged. How to properly tell if the unit has an inefficient compressor, a bad inverter. We're going to show you how to pressurize the unit. Apply the jig, put it in a proper vacuum, and, and charge it properly. Um, please be on the lookout for that with my business partner, Rick. Like I said, that'll probably be out within a week or two. We almost done. Um, we just waiting for the editing. And again, I'd like to thank my co-hosts for the evening. Miss Ward. Um, I didn't realize that how big of a deal she was, but she <laughs> took over the show tonight. Shout out to everybody for showing my guest love. Thank I want to wish all y'all love, peace, and harmony. Please go to Solid Steps to Wealth. And um, let's spread love in our industry. With all that said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host with the most. You want to say any final words? Thank you for being here. That's it? That's it. Thank y'all for being here. Love, peace, and harmony. We'll see y'all next week. Y'all take care. We did it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Now we got to sign out. That was a good show, sis. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for being here.